Greetings, Momo, Austin. We're hungry. We're in Chicago. Let's eat. All right, we're gonna start this iconic, legendary, post-apocalyptic tour at Starbucks Reserve Roastery. Here we go. The Starbucks Roastery here is four delicious floors of different accoutrements. We're headed to the fourth because that's where the alcohol is. Espresso martini! All right, we went with the classic Starbucks espresso martini. It's got Starbucks Reserve Espresso, Kallax Single Malt Vodka, Vanilla Bean Syrup, and Dark Chocolate. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous specimen to your health. Oh, Starbucks. Starbucks, you rascal. Cheers. Mm. Best espresso martini. I'm saying it. It's dead. Five out of five best. momos? Five out of five momos. I love it. Time for our first taste of Chicago. We're doing Gino's East. Here we go. Okay, our pizza is here. We got a 50-50 pie. We got a Chicago fire, which is hot and spicy. Patty style sausage, fire roasted red peppers, and red onions. The other half is the Italian special, the Italian beef, sweet peppers, and giardiniera. <laughs> so, my wife's gonna take a little nibble. All right, this thing is huge. It's not a little nibble, but I try to cut it as small as possible. Mm -hmm. And she's starting with the Chicago, Chicago fire. fire. Super nice zesty tomato flavor, heavy on the sausage, the not cheap with their meats. That is delicious. Okay, I'm trying the Italian special. Look at the size of the slice. We got a small pie too. A lot of cheese. Oh, look at this. Delicious. Cheese is fantastic. We have a nice cheese bowl. Sauce is great. The Italian beef is cooked to perfection. This is an excellent pie, my friends. Excellent. Mm. All right, Gino's East, a fantastic place, baby. What do you think? I love it. Last time we were here together, we went to Giordano's, and I didn't like the deep dish pizza. In fact, I've been Coming back to Chicago for work and I only get the thin crust from Gino's East and this time we tried the deep dish and it was awesome. Highly recommend. Yep. There you go. Five out of five? Five out of five. Five out of five. All right. We'll catch you tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next day and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a room tour before I go out and get some breakfast. So. As you walk in, you've got a cute little kitchenette here, a little desk, a very nice little sitting area that has a fantastic view of Lake Michigan. Beautiful. If you come back this way, you've got a very nice sized bedroom. Also has a TV. View's not as good as the apartment complex are on the side. Closet area, some of our accoutrements and then a good sized bathroom kind of like a jack and jill style can come in through the bedroom can come in through the front living area this is at the hilton miracle mile it's in a really great location so with that let's go get something to eat okay well right down the street from the hotel is a little place called cafecito looks like it's a little cuban place has breakfast sandwiches here's the menu coffee Let's grab a coffee and a sandwich. All right, I have stepped out into the street to enjoy this breakfast, but got myself a large hot Americano. Oh yeah, that is very, very smooth. No hint of bitterness. That's gonna wake you up. And uh, this little 
brisk morning here. There's the smell of weed in the air, which is just, I mean, it completes a morning. Now I got the huevos completo, which is a breakfast sandwich with egg, your choice of cheese, steak, ham, and onions, and I mean, just a beautiful look. And this is just half of it. The other half sitting here on the ground because I am eating outside here, but let's give it a shot. You know, I'd say the highlights, the onions, really gives it a, uh, some complexity and depth. The steak is perfectly cooked. I don't really taste the ham. The cheese is very stretchy and delicious. This is a solid spot. Inside was popping. You can get to go. Or they do have a sit-down portion in there. So you can sit there and enjoy breakfast. Looks like they have lunch, dinner options, drinks, etc. Recommend this spot. Don't trust me. Look it up on Google. I think it was at a 4.3, 4.4 stars, quite a few reviews. So um, there you have it. I'll see you at lunch. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget the hot sauce. Absolutely delicious. Not very spicy, tangy, flavorful. The perfect, the perfect accoutrement to this delicious sandwich. Mm. All right, I am back out for lunch. Thought I'd try something iconic in Chicago, the Chicago Dog. I'm here at Devil Dog, about to give it a try. Let's go. Okay, grab my food. I just walked a little bit down, sitting on the steps of an old, it's like abandoned church or something on beautiful Russian Pearson. Got my Chicago Dog. Look at this beauty. It's got all of the accoutrements you could possibly want. Let's take a bite. Delicious, snappy dog. The mustard's very tangy. Relish adds a little something. So is the sports peppers. Not bad. And like four bucks. Four bucks. Man, treat yourself. I grabbed another dog I'll show you in a minute. It's the Maxwell Street Polish. But let's finish this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, just polished off that Chicago dog, and man, just the, the little hint of the celery salt really leveled up that dog, man. Highly recommend. The other dog I got, the Maxwell Street Polish, uh, $6.75, so a little more expensive, but this sucker came double wrapped, and look at this beauty. Holy shnikes. Covered in peppers, grilled onions, mustard. Mm. Sausage is snappy, man. Mm. Flavors, delicious. Cannot recommend that Devil Dog's place enough. When you're here looking for something fast and cheap, that's the spot. I said abandoned church. Totally wrong. It's an archdiocese. It's still an active place. Well, good morning. Got myself a Americano. I'm walking the beautiful streets of Chicago looking for a breakfast spot. I think I found one right here at Beatrix Restaurant and Coffee Bar. Very solid reviews on Google, so let's go check it out. Okay, breakfast is served. I got myself a little Blue Boost, which is blueberry juice, white grapes, and basil. I also got a Ranchero burrito. It is cheesy eggs, quinoa, hash browns, corn. Sounds very interesting. Let's give this a go. Mm. Delicious, very light considering those ingredients. Not too bad a spot. All right, that's a wrap on breakfast. Beatrix, solid place. <clears throat> Sorry for the low talking in there, but it was a very intimate setting and very busy. So 
please keep that in mind if you come down here. It's like in the heart of Northwestern University, so there are quite a few people in and out of that place. <clears throat> that restaurant also has two sides. One side's got a bakery and like a little coffee shop. The other side's a restaurant. So if you just want something quick, you can jump in there and get out of there. And then also it looks like they have a lot of vegan options and are very conscious of food allergies from people. So if you've got some particulars around what you eat, maybe a great spot to start your day. Anyway, I'll see you at lunch. Ciao. So you're wandering the streets of Chicago, looking for something to eat, can't make up your mind, you're this place. Ooh. As a food hall, I think we need to investigate. Supposedly on the fifth floor of this place, there is a food hall, so I'm making my way up. Up there somewhere. We'll see. Okay, very interesting place. You do all your ordering here. They've got a variety of places you can choose from. Which is interesting. I picked myself a lettuce wrapped hamburger from a joint and then a, a Italian steak sandwich from the Chicago Char Dogs, which I'm very excited about. So I'll show you those very soon. All right, my food has arrived. I've got this beautiful Italian beef sandwich. Looks absolutely delicious from Char Dogs. And then I got this lettuce wrapped burger. Also looks very, very nice. We'll start there. Not bad at all. Now let's try this Italian beef. Rolls very, very hard. Dipped and delicious, very salty, but it's perfectly. Put a little hot sauce on that. I think you got a winner. It's kind of like fast food in this place, but it's the spot for lunch. All right, wrapping up here, Astor Hall. Meh. It's your standard mall food court food. If you're in a pinch, sure. Otherwise, I'd skip it. There's better eats at cheaper prices all up and down this beautiful, beautiful city. I am proud of myself though. I have eaten the big three. Deep dish pizza, Chicago hot dog, Italian beef sandwiches. Maybe some of those places weren't known for those, but I'm crossing them off my list. I'm a happy man. Hi. All right, my wife and I are out getting something to eat. We are at the Copper Fox Gastro Pub. Let's go inside and enjoy some tasty vittles. All right, we stepped into this beautiful place, ordered a couple of drinks. My wife ordered the El Diablo. Margarita. Ooh, it had a bunch of good sounding stuff in it. Don't remember what those were, but beautiful. there she is. She looks like a stunner. Baby, take a little sip of real that bad boy. spicy and sour but it's actually really sweet but it's good i'd give it a good four out of five four out of five i got these fall spiced old fashioned uh, the interesting thing for this is it has pumpkin maple syrup so let's see if i can taste that i'm not getting any pumpkin any maple wait a minute you know what? There's a little bit at the back end there. Very nice. Goes, goes uh, very well with the Maker's Mark. That is the the base of this cocktail. So, so far so good. We'll see what these salads look like. We're just kind of grazing tonight, wandering the streets. We're starting right here though, as I said, at the Copper Fox Gastro Pub. We'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, our dinners have arrived. My wife got this beautiful kale and Brussels sprout salad. Looks delicious. I got the seven layer chicken salad. Comes with chicken. There was a little joke there, but you had to be there for that. And then my wife got a little bit of this tomato bisque. So we'll give you a little bit of reviews afterwards. We're going to feast right now.
Catch you on the other side. All right, well, dinner is a wrap. Baby, what do you think? Okay, my salad was a hot five out of five. It was a little sour, a little salty, a little sweet. It was delicious. And then the margarita, I lied you guys. That thing was a one out of five. It had mezcal, I do not like that. So I do not recommend. There you go. My salad was also good. Her salad was better. Five out of five. How she described it is exactly me to a T. Thank you very much, <laughs> which is why she loves me so much. Salty, sweet, and sour. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you later tomorrow for brekkie. Hope you're ready. I am. Well, friends, we skipped breakfast, but we are not skipping lunch before we head out of town. This is Francesca's on Chestnut. Let's go eat. All right, we are at Francesca's. We grabbed a couple of pastas. I got this vodka sauce with um, crumbled sausage in it. It looks absolutely choice. My wife got this beautiful rigatoni. Don't remember what the sauce was, but both look absolutely spectacular. We'll let you know at the end so we can enjoy this meal in private. Oh my goodness, Francesca's on Chestnut, delicious. Highly recommend. They've only got four pastas there. We had two of them. You couldn't go wrong with either. Absolutely scrum dilly -umptious. And um, yeah, with that, that is it for this little adventure in Chicago. Eating some local staples, eating some exotics, if you will. And um, yeah, headed home. So thank you. Don't forget to hit the notification button, like and subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Ciao.